Oftentimes, some of the installations that we see, the customer has been experienced problems which requires maintenance technicians to go and work on the device frequently over and over, perhaps called out in the middle of the night or on a weekend because there's been an issue with the analyzer. One that comes to mind that we see all the time is that when a line is supposed to be heated, we find that it's only half heated or not heated at all or the heating's turned off or sometimes just the opposite. The, the thing is so hot that it's causing the samples to polymerize or decompose in some way. And we commonly find that there's uh, been liquids carry over into place where they didn't want liquids, where they weren't expecting liquids and that's causing problems with the equipment that's there. A process analyzer can actually look like it's working but actually be doing nothing that's valuable to anybody. For instance, the time delay that we see on systems is, is quite enormous sometimes. Sometimes we're talking about hours or even days of delay before they actually get the measurement. Measurement's working, they get in the answers, but it's totally useless having knowledge about what happened yesterday. So you get a fresh set of eyes on something that may have been a problem for them for years, sometimes even decades and we get a fresh group of eyes on there to look at their installation and try to understand what their problems really are. We go back and look inside the process um, because just looking at one instrument like a process analyzer, um, you, you're not gonna see everything. And so it's best to go back and uh, really look to see where the samples are coming from and what might have happened to them before they even got to the instrument itself. In many cases, uh, we, we actually get the analyzers to work, sometimes yeah. for the first time ever.